everyone. This video is a video I've been wanting to do for a while, as far back as um, when I had Maya, actually. Um, today I'm going to talk about um, labor and delivery um, through the eyes of having um, an epidural and then a natural birth, because I've had both. Um, first of all, I'm going to start off by saying I actually had an epidural with both girls, but things happened with Maya and they had to shut my epidural off um, about two hours after I got it. So the entire rest of the um, labor and delivery, it was natural. The drugs wore off very fast and um, so I'm going to get into it. So first of all, I'm going to talk about Madeline's birth. Um, Madeline, I had an epidural with Madeline. Um, most of the the biggest reason why I had the epidural with Madeline was because yes I wanted it. I didn't want to feel pain but I also had severe gallstones and I was on um, pain pills through the entire third trimester of my pregnancy because it was constant pain it was horrible it was just horrible um, so I had a pretty strong epidural I think um, first of all the epidural itself is it's not fun it hurts it is not it is I, I don't like needles um, to start off with and this needle is like a freaking horse steroid needle it's huge it's hollow um, but that's not really the needle that hurts the most it's the, the first two needles that they put in my back to numb my back before they went into my spine those needles hurt the worst because the medication they put in that it just it was very um, it stung very very badly but um I don't have anything really to talk about with the whole um, labor until the delivery and after because I did not feel a thing um, no pain I was completely numb I was pr pretty much paralyzed from the waist down um, but when I started pushing I did not know I could not feel what I was pushing I couldn't feel anything I didn't know how hard I was bearing down I didn't know you know where Madeline was at at that point I was just doing what they told I just when they said push I pushed um, and um, that's um, one of the things I'm going to get to with um, the epidural versus natural. Um, and after I had Madeline, um, it was just, I kind of don't even remember really anything after that because the medication was so strong. I was so groggy. I didn't want to do anything. Now, first of all, I'm going to say I don't, um, I don't have any negative negativity towards women that do um, have an epidural. I mean, sometimes it's required. Sometimes they have to get an epidural. Um, sometimes there has to be, you know, C-sections. It, it's, uh, you know, sometimes things just don't work out as planned. Um, but for me, me personally, I do not, I do not like the epidural. And the biggest reasons why is this. Um, because I couldn't feel what I was, how hard I was pushing, I tore in the worst possible way. It hurt for weeks. Um, after I had Madeline, I was groggy, I had no energy, I didn't want anything to do with her, I didn't want anything to do with anybody, I didn't want visitors, I just wanted to sleep, I wanted to sleep, and that's it. I, um, I literally didn't keep Madeline in our room, I wanted the nurses to keep her in the nursery. I didn't want to change her, I didn't want to have to feed her, I didn't want to do anything with her, and I feel horrible about it now. Um, but I was just so tired, I had no energy from the medication, and because of how badly I tore, I... The only time I got out of bed was when I had to pee. That is the only time. I didn't shower. I didn't want to get dressed. I didn't want to do my hair. I didn't want to do my makeup. I didn't want to do anything. I just wanted to sleep because it was horrible. And then from a couple weeks after that point, I was still just kind of groggy. I had severe um, postpartum depression. And I'm not saying it was because of the epidural, but there have been studies that show sometimes women are, um, are more prone to the depression because of the epidural. I'm not really sure why, though. Um, but just from that experience, I, it was just not good. And I wanted to have an epidural again with Maya because I didn't want to feel the pain. I didn't know, you know, I've seen videos and women, you know, look like they're being sawn in half when they get freaking when they have their babies. So I was like, I don't want to feel pain. So I got my epidural again and this time it hurt worse. Actually, this epidural hurt more than it, it did when I had Madeline. Um, and two hours, they didn't tell me, actually, that they turned it off. I didn't know that they turned my epidural off until my postpartum checkup, actually. So I was going through this. I still thought I had my epidural on, but then again, I was like, you know what, guys? I can feel, like, everything. But to be honest, it wasn't actually that bad. 
for me, I have really bad period cramps, and up until about the last two hours of my labor, that's how what it felt like to me. My labor pains felt like period cramps. That is what it felt like to me, just really intense period cramps. So it wasn't even that bad for me, actually. And then towards the, the last two hours, that it got really intense. It hurt. Um, I could feel it. You really, really want to, you know, when I wanted to push, I wanted to push. I told him, I was like, I'm going to push whether I'm fully dilated or not. You better do something about this because I, I need to push. Um, so I got to feel the full effect of what it feels like to be, you know, a woman giving birth. And actually it was like the most incredible thing I've ever experienced in my life, even though I was in a lot of pain. It was a very amazing experience. Um, I pushed her out in like 10 seconds, literally took three pushes. She was out. Um, I did not tear at all. And I had so much energy. I felt so good. I felt like I could have run a 5k right after giving birth to her. Like I was like, as soon as he cleaned me up and everything, I was like, I could have jumped right out of this bed and ran around the freaking block. I felt so good. And I didn't feel like that when I had Madeline with the epidural. I didn't want to walk. I didn't want to do anything. I didn't want to move. And it hurt because of tour. Maya, I didn't tear. I had so much energy. The first thing I did was I went to the nursery with her, got everything cleaned up. I took a shower. I did my makeup. I did my hair. Um, I went around walking around the hospital. I kept Maya in my room with me the entire time. The nurses didn't get her for one second almost unless they needed to, you know, evaluate something. I kept her with me every time I fed her. I did all the changing diapers. I didn't, I didn't leave her out of my sight. And Maddie, I didn't want anything to do with her. And I, I, I do blame the epidural because I was groggy. I had no energy. I didn't want to do anything. I wanted to sleep. I, all I'd want to do, do was be tired. I didn't have the energy to take care of my kid, which sounds like a horrible excuse, but it's the truth. Um, and, and then with Maya, I just felt so good. I had all this energy. Um, I was very happy. Uh, I was very proud of myself also. Um, for doing it because at that point even though they didn't tell me because they knew if they had told me I would have freaked out and it would have made it a lot worse but the fact that I, I did know in the back of my head that my epidural was not working because my epidural I had an epidural with Madeline and I can feel a dang thing this baby I felt I felt it all I felt everything and it wasn't a bad thing it was a great experience and I completely support natural birth like natural birth is how it's supposed to be done that's how everybody's been doing it for years before us uh, or not before us, but for, you know, um, medicals, medical science and stuff, you know, evolved and epidurals were brought into the field and whatnot. Um, you know, everybody did it back then naturally. That's how women were designed to do it. And, um, although there are alternatives out there to not feel the pain and I don't, you know, I, like I said, I don't, you know, people, sometimes it has to be done. And then some people just don't want to feel pain. There's nothing wrong with that. Just for me, personally, I prefer the natural route. Um, yeah, it hurts a lot more, but it's the outcome of it is a lot better because you were, I just, I didn't feel good. I didn't feel good. And I tore, I was miserable after I had Madeline with Maya. I felt great. It was the greatest feeling I've actually ever had in my life. And, um, I am going to read you some statistics for um, epidurals um, that interfere with labor and their side effects. <sighs> um, they do lengthen your labor. Um, if you go in to have a natural birth, you'll have it a lot sooner than if you got an epidural because it prolongs the laboring process. And a lot of times they have to put you on Pitocin to speed things along because the labor just stops. You're not, you don't dilate, you don't have any um, progression when you get an epidural. They triple the risk of severe prenatal tear, which is true because I tore in the worst possible way that I could have ever torn. And my doctor said that, he said, you have the worst tear that you could get. And we're talking, you know, fag anus practically. It was bad. Um, and that's disgusting. I apologize. TMI. But I'm just telling you the facts here, okay, people? This is the facts. This is ha this is what happened to me, and I totally would choose labor, my labor to be natural after this. Um, they increase the risk of cesarean section by 2.5 times. They triple the occurrence of Pitocin, like I just said. Um, they quadruple the chances that the baby will be face up, which is what Madeline was. Um, and that's why I tore. Madeline was face up when 
I gave birth to her. And the only reason why she was face up was because I did get that patrol because she was face down. Everything was ready to go when I went in there and things just got topsy turvy after I got my epidural done. So this is all true facts because this, all of this basically happened with me. Every woman is different. Every woman is different, but this is what happened to me. And then they can increase chances of complications from instrumental delivery. Um, Madeline did have to have uh, a, the clamp or whatever, you know, the little thing that they pulled her out with. Um, so, and then they increased the risk of pelvic floor problems. Um, I don't, I didn't have any problems with that, but just about everything else that I just read to you, I did have problems with. So, um, basically I'm just giving you my, um, my opinion on, um, epidurals and having a natural birth. And for me, epidural, yes, it was great because I didn't feel the pain, but in the long run, that was the only good thing that I had about that experience. Nothing else was good. Nothing else was a good experience. I didn't even have a good experience with having my daughter. It was not, it was not anything for me because I didn't, I was just so out of it. Um, Maya's birth was stupendous. And if Antonia and I decide to have another baby later on in life, which we've been talking about it, it's possible. Um, but if we do, I am from the beginning to the end, I'm going to tell them I don't want an epidural as I don't want it. I don't want it to get an epidural. Um, so those are my views on epidurals and natural birth because I have had both. And if anybody has any questions, you can ask me. Um, if anyone has any comments, um, you can let me know. Um, if you've had a baby, what did you, you know, do? Did you get an epidural? Did you go natural? What was your experience with having an epidural or having a natural birth? Um, I like to know, you know, that's why I kind of do YouTube. I like to know what other people are going through that I went through, you know. Um, that's why I follow a lot of other um, moms. And um, I just like to, I just like to know what else is out there, you know, what other people are experiencing. So... That is my experience, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!